Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will discuss about Node Moon package. Some developers are actually confused between package and module. They think that they are the different things, but actually not. Package and module are the same thing. You can say that Node Moon is a package, or you can say that Node Moon is a module. The both are same thing. All right. So I especially mentioned here this is a time saving module why I mentioned that because with that module you can seriously save around 20 to 30 percent time of your project seriously even every developer around 99.9% .9 developers use this module to save the time I will tell you how in the introduction part after that I will tell you how we can install it and use it and at the last we will discuss a really important interview question so now let's start with the first thing what is a node moon package so for that i want to uh, show you a problem statement first so here you can see that we have a console dot one and whenever i want to just check the output of this i have to run here node index dot js and after that the output will be there so let's say i just made here some changes um with node and again i need to just run this command again and after that this will be stop and whenever i just want to check the output i must have to run my command again so here we have to put the lots of time and lots of effort even this is uh, you can see that this is a really small code sometime we have lots of code and it will take around uh, uh, 20 to 30 seconds to execute complete code because database is connected apis are working and all that time if you just run the command again it's really take lots of time and lots of effort right to save this we can use node moon module node moon what it actually do it will continuously run your node.js and whenever you will just make any small change it will automatically detect and continuously produ produce its output right so now let, let's see how we can install it and use it so i want i want to show you it's a npm package first of all just simply put here node moon npm and whenever we will just click over it here you can see that uh, there is a lots of weekly downloads and uh, this is the complete introduction they are actually telling that how you can install it how you can use it and all right so now let's see how we can install it so keep in mind whenever you will install it don't use that command with the node mode node moon you have to use this command npm install minus g node moon because this command will install it globally right so what is that globally means globally means whenever you will run this command in your computer you don't need to install node moon again in your system in whenever uh, you just uh, uh, making another project in another folder and all you can just simply run this node moon command it will definitely work because your node moon node moon is installed globally in your system right so now let's see how we can install it and one more thing whenever you are installing node moon globally you don't need to install only in your project you can just run it in anywhere in your system right so i am just going to run it in a fresh command line so that i can show you we don't need to run it in a specific folder so here you can see that we have a different folder and whenever it will install i will use it in our project folder right so just simply put here npm i minus g and node moon like this even you can also use like this npm i node moon minus g you you can just put this uh, minus g uh, before node moon or after node moon it will definitely work in both of cases right one more thing that you have to keep in mind whenever you are running this minus g command in uh, uh, ios or in ubuntu that time you must have to use sudo otherwise it will give you the error because there is some security concern whenever you are installing something that that time you must have to use sudo command it will ask a password to you then it will run right sometime if uh, your window security is high and you are not on the administrator that time it will give you the error and that time what you need to do just open a command line and run it as a administrator and after that uh, you can run this node moon command with the minus g right so if you want to check the version of node moon then just simply put here node moon minus v if 
this will uh, this command is working in your system that means node mood node moon is installed after that you can close it and now just run here node moon index dot js and now you will find this is running continuously if i'm just making any changes it will automatically detect on saving the file and it will giving the output so let's say i am just creating a one more console dot one let's say 20 plus 20 and you can see that it will working perfectly fine with the every small change and whenever i will just uh, putting here uh, control s this is actually running with the perfect output right so with that way it will actually save your time and one more thing actually what actually guys do they run here after installing the node moon they again run the run the no node command like this and they will check that no node moon is not working it will just stop after a uh, one execution you don't need to run here node after installing node moon uh, just you need to install here uh, run here node moon and your file name and uh, then it will work perfectly right all right so here we learned that what is node moon how we can install it how we can use it so now let's talk about an important interview question the question is is node.js a sync language or it's a sync language the answer is this is the async language so now the another question is what is the sync language and what is the async language sync language means so let's say if you have some uh, commands or let's say uh, one script and second script and third script script means you can simply say that syntax right and uh, if some of these syntax actually taking too much time that time they will wait for this task and then they will run the next command this is a sync language right but in the async language let's say our first command is running perfectly fine in the second uh, command or second script it will take some time because that is a complex here then it will not wait for second command it will just uh, run this execute command it will not wait for finishing this command directly it will go for the third and fourth and fifth and all right whenever the second command will just give the output we will get the alert by the promises and all right with that way basically node.js is work that's why this is the really fast language and javascript also a async language both are async why because both are actually using v8 engine right so don't worry and the async and async uh, languages we will take some more lectures in upcoming time or maybe we will take uh, three to four lectures on these uh, languages because they are really important concept for interviews as well as your programming skills and projects and all so thank you for uh, your time and please don't forget to subscribe my channel